what's good YouTube it's the all-knowing all-loving all-feeling all-seeing all-powerful just damn all everything sexy as hell host of this life games channel Lamont Tyson today we're talking about my girl Serena Williams this week she just announced that she got engaged I mean this is one of America's most beloved booties on the planet but on top of that a superstar Hall of Famer history making athlete and it sparked a lot of controversy with people because a lot of folks don't know the guy that she's getting engaged to which is as we go to the sexy as hell jumbotron this guy Alexia Ohanian and I hope I'm not butchering his name this man is the co-founder of reddit which is a social media platform where people can post videos in different groups and people group together and talk about social media and that type deal and it sparked controversy because it's an interracial couple and the question I'm posing to you guys to get this conversation popping is what the hell difference does that make and let's just kind of go by and talk about why Serena Williams and this is a picture of her at the Wimbledon and you know let's talk about why this has been so much of a controversy and why I say she's America's big butt not only has she been able to be a superstar tennis athlete but because of her physique her body the way it's put together muscles grace and just enough flab to remain sexy in my opinion has made her America's big butt more so than Kim Kardashian because we know that shit is fake, right? But Serena has done it and look at that. What can I say? Made everybody proud. But we have a lot of people on social media going in on them because this is an interracial couple. And guys, at the end of the day, it is so hard to find love in general. I think a lot of people are just coming from old school mindset where you might have some parents that just don't believe in it. You might have a friend or two that don't believe in it. And some people think that if they were to have kids, you know, what are those kids going to go through? At the end of the day, this young lady has remained grounded. I trust her judgment. I don't know a lot about the co-founder of Reddit, but I trust Serena Williams. And if she's happy and he's made her happy, what the hell difference does it make? We're trying to teach people to be diverse. We're trying to teach unity. The president of the United States is mixed and look at all the great things he's done for the country, right? And if you know Serena's background, she's from Compton. Dad took good care of her, got her and her sister in a place where they're competitive. This young man is a graduate of the University of Virginia, took his time and his investments and started a great website that has now net worth him about four million dollars. And her net worth is about one hundred and fifty million dollars. And you know, it takes a lot for someone who's worth that much money to say, you know what, I'm going to invest in someone whose net worth is way below mine. So I'm telling you guys, you've just got to trust her judgment and let her do her thing. If we are going to get to a place in America where we're going to get past some of the injustices we see and the stereotyping we see and the racial divide that we see, when you see a couple like this come together, we need to celebrate it. We're teaching our children to be diverse. We're trying to teach our children not to be racist. And if Serena is happy with this man, let it be. Let her do her thing. They've been dating for over a year now, and that man decided to pop that question. So my hat's off to him. I'm sorry, fellas, she's off the market. You can forget about that. And let's hope that they maintain a great relationship for years to come and that they'll be great role models of what love really is all about. All right? That's going to do it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. Go out there and get yourself a life game. Leave me a comment on what you think we can do in America to overcome this little bit of a racial divide we're having. How do you feel about interracial dating so we can get the conversation popping? And until the next Sex is Hell video, we will see you guys.